All right, hello everyone. Thank you for attending the McDonald's or Real Estate Investing Central Florida. And appreciate you taking time out of your day to uh, on this uh, lunchtime for Californians. Most of my investors are located in California. So, uh, and anyway, this is Xie Wen Yi from the Year Real Estate Network. Again, thank you so much. And we are about to embark in a and the first of hopefully many weekly live webinars uh, in Florida because one of the reasons why is that uh, I feel, obviously I feel very strong about uh, our Florida market and our Florida partner, uh, Ms. Jean Gillum. But before I introduce you to her, for the past few years, I've been promoting Florida quite a bit for very obvious reasons because we feel Florida right now has the best cash flow and the best appreciation. And the reason why I picked this title, the, the McDonald's Real Estate, um, here's my definition of the, of the subject title. Uh, the, the, we are the McDonald's Real Estate because we have uh, quite a few inventories available on a consistent basis for the past few years. And and also uh, McDonald's, right, they, they sell their <laughs> uh, food and burgers, whatever, uh, in a, on a very high volume and they sell it very cheap, okay? Uh, so in Florida, we, uh, Jean Gillum, my partner, has been selling her great properties in the last few years through our network and through other investment clubs as well in, in very, very high volume because of the uh, desirability of the uh, product properties that she's presenting, obviously, otherwise people wouldn't pull the trigger. And uh, in addition, uh, is a is a, ch a cheap property, but cheap does not mean cheap. Cheap cheap means the good value, good undervalue, great great future potential. So yeah, once again, many of you already work with Jim Gillum, and she has helped many of our investors. In fact, more of my investors have purchased through Jim Gillum in Central Florida in the past few years than all my other illicit markets combined. Uh, so. And I'm very happy to continue to have a great relationship with Jean because over many years, Jean has helped many out-of-state investors achieve their financial freedom goals. And and she will, is here to help you make money and with a very, very low-risk product. So uh, yeah, some, many of you are wondering, you know, whenever I, I create a video and I present the weekly property links, you know, she has different categories of property links for you guys to evaluate each property. And sometimes some of you are thinking, oh, it's so overwhelming. There's so many great properties in, in different link categories. Like you have single family homes from 58,000 to 140,000 on one link. That the next link is 150K to 175K. Then another link, a 175K or higher single family home. Then you have a multi unit link. So, in a way, that's overwhelming, but in a way, that's great because you have a lot of options, a lot of selections. But suffice to say, I uh, hope hopefully Jean will share with you briefly how she come up with this weekly link, what uh, due diligence and methodology that she pre-select these great properties for our investors. One final thing is before she come on momentarily to speak is that these kind of properties, yes, they are in MLS, but they go very, very quick. Some of these great property on this link, uh, as you know, they, they sell within 24 to 48, 48 hours. Uh, and so they, they come and go because investors from all over the world, investors from all over the U.S. and Canada, wherever, they see the value of this, all these inventories uh, that, that appear every week. So, you know, if you do not pull the trigger, someone else is going to get rich on your behalf, right? That is a, is a matter of, of uh, you know, a, a trusting Gene about how she pre-select these properties and you need to get pre-approval through the uh, loan agents that we have either uh, Francine or, you know, Richard Advani. And then once you get pre-approval, then you contact Jean and she will help you make offers and you can, uh, and bid on these properties. So it's a very dynamic market, it's a very fast growing market. So if you snooze, you will lose. You got to pull it together quickly. And she, uh, Jean have done 95% of the research and due diligence on your behalf. She know the neighborhood. She's been in the Florida market for decades. So she know every neighborhood, every little tiny details. So by you creating a relationship with Jean, 
Gillum, she will uh, help you execute on your action plan. All right, so enough said for me. And so without further ado, I'm going to have Jim Gillum to present a couple of properties for for today. And so hopefully by the end of today, you can contact myself or Jean and uh, go through our protocol and hopefully we can get you on on to get in one of these great, great, you know, tremendous property that she presents. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, may I present Miss Jean Gillum. Take it away. Hey, thanks. Thank you, Si Wing. Well, let me just tell you, first of all, um, I sell basically new homes. And I have to uh, really tell you to be very careful when you buy something. Don't fall in love with it. Just remember it's an investment. And for anything to cash flow as a new home, it has to be around 200 or less. And the reason is, if you don't do it that way, um, you're not going to have good cash flow. And that's what you want is good cash flow. So um, basically, new homes. The reason why people buy new homes is because there's no problems for about, say, maybe uh, seven, eight years. Um, and the reason there's no problems is the new roof, it's the new air conditioner, it's new appliances, everything's new. So right now is a great time to start buying new homes. Um, and I have three different areas that I'm working in now. Um, uh, Winter Haven, Wesley Chapel, Zephyr Hills, and a place uh, called um, Hudson. So that's my new ones. Then I have resales. So a lot, a lot of areas have resales. Um, Florida is uh, not a recourse, um, is a um, non-recourse state. No, no, it's not a non-recourse state. Florida is a state where it's very difficult for that anybody to foreclose on people. So we still have foreclosures. Now foreclosures aren't so great to buy anymore because the banks are making those foreclosures just about the same price as you would buy a used house which is usually in better condition but we get some great buys on used house because things have to appraise and if there's been a foreclosure the banks have to come down uh the, the people that want to sell have to come down so we have some very good resales um we have multi-families uh multi-families is what we're going to talk about today so there are multi-families up to four doors, four units, is a regular conventional loan. And you have to put about 25, you can't put 20% down, you have to put 25% down. We also have a possibility of um, doing more units. Like the one I'm, it's on the screen right now is uh, a five unit. And with five units, that means you have five renters. So um, if you look at this one, they're asking 259,000. And that's um, for five units. Uh, and that's pretty good. That's $50,000 a unit. So you can't beat that. There's um, two one bedroom, one bath, um, two, um, two bedroom, one bath. And then there is, oh no, I'm sorry, three two bedroom, one bath. So it's all, um, very um, good. They're all, all with long-term renters, which is even nicer. Um, and um, this one was built in 1982. You can see they, you know, you can see people live there and they look like they keep it up a bit. And if you look down here, if you put 25% down and you got a loan at four and a half percent, your loan amount would be 194,000. Your prince and your principal and interest would be 984. Your property taxes are $240. Your insurance is about $225. Your management fee is $204. So it's going to cost you about $1,650 to own this a month. And the rents are right there. So you're going to cash flow about $900 to $1,000 a month on this one. So what should you expect? And you can see the pictures are really nice. I mean, they've really kept the buildings up it's it's done really well so i would suggest this is a really good opportunity for somebody that wants to now this is going to be a commercial loan because it's five units so um you know i i can only say that um what people like about spending two hundred fifty thousand dollars on a five unit building is that if one unit is empty they still are getting other four 
paying. So you can always make your mortgage payment. Usually um, uh, it will uh, cash flow pretty nicely. Now, another thing about um, the area, this is Winter Haven, and I have new builds in Winter Haven too. Winter Haven is about 40 minutes from Orlando. Well, remember that nobody really lives in downtown Orlando, but if you uh, say it's from 40 minutes, uh, it's about 20 minutes from say um, downtown Disney, which is, and so, uh, and it's very close to uh, like Planet um, uh, Animal Kingdom, all, all the Disney parks, because all the Disney parks are really in Kissimmee. So a lot of people live in Winter Haven that work in the parks and we have 19 parks in the greater Orlando area. And in Winter Haven, we have a park called Legoland. And Legoland um, has a, a regular park and a water park. And it also has what's called Cypress Garden. Uh, Industry-wise, uh, Amazon has a distribution center there. Federal Express has their main headquarters there. Um, uh, Warren Buffington just built a 350-acre uh, cargo area where he takes the train comes in there and they change them up and put them on um, on um, big semis and send them over to either the port of uh, of Tampa or the port over in uh, Port Canaveral so there's a lot going on here a lot um, it's also about halfway in between here and say Clearwater Beach and um, so if if somebody really wanted to, they could be working in Clearwater and somebody else could be working in uh, Disney. So there's a lot of options here. It also has a chain of lakes. It's very, very um, uh, famous. Uh, it's, it's really nice and it's a bustling new area. Lots of young people are moving there because there's so many new jobs because of the new uh, schools, the new hospitals, the new, everything is new in Winter Haven. So we have those and we have new builds in Winter Haven. So let me just go get you a new, uh, another um, multifamily. So that's, that's one. Um, let's see. Now here's one in uh, Ponciana. Ponciana is where, um, uh, it's really not Ponciana. There's no city named Ponciana, it's really Kissimmee. And so this is a, just a duplex. So this is $350,000. And the square footage is almost 5,000 square feet, 4660. And it just was built in 2012. And, um, and each unit on each side is about $2,300 uh, 2, square feet. So this will probably rent for probably about $1,400, $1,500 but, uh, a month each side but we were we we just were very conservative and said it's only going to rent for 2400 to 2500 uh and i do believe it will rent for more um because it's so large uh it's brand new you'll have very little problems you can see how beautiful it is with the um the, the cabinetry and everything all tile floors it's very very nice and again, um, if you bought this and you put 25% down, your principal and interest a month would be $1,275. Your property tax is about $300. Your insurance is about $75. There is an HOA of $19 and a management fee of $192. So your cash flow is going to be about $550 to $650. But I do believe that we probably could add another $1,000 on here and nothing would happen. I do believe it's going to um, rent for more. So that's a, that's a duplex and that's just a regular, normal, um, conventional loan. Okay, oh, and that's in Kissimmee. And, and Kissimmee is where, um, Kissimmee is where um, Disney is. Okay, so now let's see, what's this one? Temple Heights. Okay, this is another one. Now this was in Tampa. Now a lot of people like Tampa. They like Tampa because, um, Camp is growing by leaps and bounds. This is 100% occupied. It's turnkey. It's um, a quad, means that it's four units. So um, when you, you're buying four different units, and each unit is four bedrooms, uh, two baths, I believe. And oh no, each unit is two bedrooms and one bath with a laundry room. Um, 
recent improvements may include a new roof, uh, four H, uh, new air conditioners, some bathrooms, some kitchens uh, have been tiled. Uh, the, there's another quad that goes that they're selling also, but look, it, it's just let's look at this one. Now it's completely rented, and um, they're asking uh, $300,000. And if you paid that, um, you would have about $1,663 in your total payment. And if you rented it out for say $2,600 or $2,700, you'd be making about $1,000 a month um obviously that's if you pay the 299 i mean you could offer 275 you could offer 260 something like that and see if you could get it and there are two of those now this is in tampa um tampa is a growing 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 area and uh everything rents very quickly and the last one that i'll talk about now uh let's see i'll take a smaller one um this is um, a triplex in, uh, in Holiday, Florida. Uh, it's uh, three units, three bedrooms, three baths. So it's a, they're one ones. Um, they are, uh, Holiday is a very nice area. Uh, it's it's um, an older area, meaning that older people are there. So that is a very good thing to buy, something in an older area because you don't have kids and, the, and everything stays nice. Um, it's nicely updated, one bedroom apartments, um, and it's fully leased out now. If you were to buy something like that for $145,000, uh, you would be paying about $900 a month, and the rent range is between $1,540 and $1,640. Now, uh, it's right now rented for $1,540, so you'd be making $647 a month, and as the rents go up, you could make a little more. more. Now it's a four, you have four, um, this is a three unit, so it's a triplex. So there's three different um, uh, renters in there and it's all completely rented. Do you have any questions? Well, uh, uh, Jean, so so um, let me ask a question on, on behalf of uh, what a, a potential uh, Investor may be asking, in terms of the uh, the rehab costs, uh, when when someone put an offer and the offer get accepted on any of these three properties, how can, how can they determine what is the additional rehab cost uh, that might? Oh, okay, so so here's the process. When you make an offer, okay, um, we uh, if if the offer is accepted, we ask for ten to fifteen days to do our due diligence. And during that due diligence, the property manager goes and looks at it and um, with, with an inspector. You pay for an inspection and the inspector crawls around for about two hours, two, three hours, on, a, on something like this a little bit longer. Um, and then tell, gives you a detailed 40, 45 page, pages on what is right with it and what is wrong with it. So you have an idea of what it's going to cost you in the, in the future years to come. How old the roof is, how old the air conditioners are, blah, blah, blah. So um, then we can, if, if it's not been maintained well, we usually don't buy it uh, because we never know if it's not been maintained well. I mean, there are some things, like, for example, you'll go in and the dishwasher doesn't work. Well, that's pretty normal. A lot of times, renters in areas like this they don't even care about a dishwasher they're not going to wash dishes in a dishwasher there's one person um or the microwave doesn't work well you, you'll hear the the people say oh well we don't we since we've lived here we never used the microwave we don't use microwaves or we don't use this kind of thing so that kind of um situation happens often and it's not a problem um, but we want to make sure that the roof is good. We want to make sure that the air conditions are good. We want to make sure that um, there's no leaks, there's no termites. So we have a full inspection. When the inspection is done, then we ask the property manager to, uh, who has usually a crew to fix anything, how much it's going to cost. So we know how much it's going to cost going into it. And sometimes we'll ask, for the seller to fix certain things and sometimes we we just go okay great it's a great buy we're going to buy it we'll just fix it as we go along so, so then you um you you um 
get, get your mortgage and your clothes and the property manager, everything is, um, the property manager uh, will take care of um, getting copies of all the leases. We um, have all the leases and everything put in uh, the new owner's names and um, the security deposits are transferred to the property manager. So it's a pretty easy um, thing that we do. It's, it's just, the process is very simple. Uh, Jean, uh, uh, when somebody purchase any of these three multi-unit properties that you have presented or any other uh, multi-units that you've been promoting on a weekly basis, what are the expectations for the investor after the purchases? Let's say for the next three to five years, what possible, what's the worst case, that, what's the worst thing that could happen to any of these multi-units? It appears right now the you know, it's great value. I mean, the price is very low relative to other multi-units in other parts of the country, obviously. But, you know, these multi-units are, you know, fairly old, 30 to 35 years old. Uh, and, you know, I, I, we all understand multi units typically the school district are, are, are not that great. So that should not be uh, a criteria for investor but because, you know, these are, by the way, you know, after all, these are like, you know, typically, you know, uh, blue collar service workers that are renting uh, these kind of cheap, uh, cheap homes. So what are, so with that in mind, uh, Jean, what, uh, you know, as so investor, what, what what the thing I could do is it could burn down, right? But that you have insurance. And what happens when you buy these things? Okay, you might only pay 145, but you're going to find out that the replacement value for this thing might be 300,000. So your insurance is for 300,000, not 145. Um, and that's what we're seeing all across the board. Every time people buy stuff, usually it appraises it. It, um, it um, the replacement cost is much more than what you're buying things for. So, so, so what I hear you saying, what I hear you saying is that a lot of these properties that you're presenting in Central Florida, whether they're multi-units or single-family home, they you 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 could make the argument that they are below market value because uh, Central Florida. Oh, they're definitely below market value, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and big, yeah. Uh, again, uh, I know you you're promoting new builds uh, uh, quite often these days, but uh, some of these homes are like I said, thirty to thirty-five years old. I know. Nice to hear uh, upon upon uh, the purchase that a lot of these homes already been uh, rehab and new roof, new this, new that. So, am I to uh, if an investor would to expect next few years that they should not uh, anticipate any type of major repairs or maintenance that, uh, that can affect their cash flow moving forward? Uh, you think? Um, well. You know, you're buying an older um, unit, so anything could happen. The, you know, the air conditioner could break, you got to put a new one in. And that's why people um, buy brand new stuff. I mean, like that, I did show you this one. Now, that, that is only um, 2012. It's five years old, but it's a great, great value. And it's, um, you're bound to not have as much problems with something like that that has granite. I mean, you know, it's a nice unit rather than if you bought something really old. Now, I have peop uh, people that only buy really old stuff, and they don't care. You know, they're just looking for um, for cash flow. Right. Yeah, yeah, Jean, how come you have so much, you know, some of my investors, they've been asking lately that, you know, every week you have some more inventories, you know, us, when you have these property links, you show, like, each link, each category, you have, like, you know, 15 to 20 homes on a multi-unit, Another 15, 20 homes uh, available on a 175K and above and, and so forth and so on. So how are you able to select so many weekly inventories available to, to our investors? So what's your methodology? How do you pre-select this, this property for us to, uh, to look at? Um, here's what I think. Um, I select for cash flow, for making money. I don't really select... Um, uh, for any other reason. Uh, we have bad schools in Florida. Uh, I guess the only other state that rivals us in bad schools is California. But um, we have we don't have great schools. So sometimes people say to me, I really want a good school area. That's hard. You're going to pay more money. But we have some that are good. Um, so I don't really look at the school so much. But I do. And, and every 
area, there's always a, um, a charter school or something that is good. So it brings it up. But um, I, I'm just looking for cash flow, pure and utter cash flow. I prefer these newer ones because I think people are going to, in the end, have a lot less repairs and everything. But, you know, um, that's just the way it is. Yeah, I, I see what you're saying. So so the, all these properties you pre-select every week, the link that we uh, we have access to, and this kind of property, uh, as I noticed, uh, when by working with working with you for several years now, a lot of these inventory will come and go very very quickly. So, so why are they these inventories are being so so quickly, and who buys them typically? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, these kind of properties, yeah, what part of the country? Who are these people? You know, who are the investors other than our network? <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, do you know? What do you mean? What's the question? Yeah, why why are some of these uh, these listings uh, get so so quickly uh, every week? Well, because everybody's looking for multifamilies. You know, you, you know, you'll have a couple of people that you know they'll have a certain amount of um, families, and then they really want to uh, get more um, doors. So if you uh, right now, and by the way, there's no there's no. Um, there's no limit on how many loans you can have anymore. Richard um, can get us, Richard um, Ivani can get us 20 loans now. So it's it's changed yet again. And you can buy with 15% down or 20% down. 15% uh, you'll have PMI, but you know some people just want to get as much as they can with these little uh, with these cheap loans. So you know some people will buy only uh, dupla uh, duplexes or quads and you bought all quads and you had 10 loans that's 40 units instead of 10 units so yeah. think of it that way or if you bought uh duplexes you'd have 20 units instead of 10 units and single family homes are are great but, but i don't think they have the cash flow um that these have yeah so it appears that jean gillum that jean that you have uh you know you present so many different type of products on a weekly basis so what I hear saying is that whatever uh, real estate investors' goals and objectives, whatever their criteria, whether they want to buy a single family home in a good school district that can cash flow, multi-units in all over central Florida, it appears that you have a lot of flexibility. It appears that you have the ability to meet all any kind of investors' goals and objectives here in central Florida. Is that is that mm -hmm. the, the value that you're providing for, for investors these days? <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah okay so i know you jing i know you're extremely busy all the time so uh your time is valuable my time is valuable as well so um we would love to have highly motivated investors that uh, once they reach out to you jing that they already pre-approved through uh, richard avani or francine uh, wh uh whoever uh and that uh that they're ready to go and they can pull the sugar very quickly. They do not have to physically come to Florida in advance to before they buy, although they could because because these properties go come and go so quickly. An investor has to show a lot of courage to uh, pull the trigger trigger quickly before uh, another investor buy it quickly. So, yeah. so that's the urgency that I'm uh, that I'm uh, uh, holding my investors for. You know, they, you just can't overthink things. You cannot overanalyze. You know, uh, analysis by paralysis, nothing like that. So, so if you know, if I, if you as an investor, you know, listening to this presentation, uh, you know, if you take you more than one week to think about it, uh, hey, someone else is gonna get rich in, instead of you yeah. because because they pick the property ahead of you. So you're not gonna own, you're not gonna be rich on properties you do not own. Okay, that's my one of my many philosophies. So uh, I know you're busy, uh, uh, Jing, but uh, can you uh, kind of recap everything? Uh, okay, so we talked about uh, multifamilies today, and we talked about um, the, the what's the difference between a multifamily and a single family home. A multifamily, you're gonna have better cash flow, um, and in a single family home, you're gonna have better appreciation. So um, my suggestion always is to have a little of each. And uh, my new builds are really, really, really good. Um, so if you're looking for a single family home, I always suggest the new builds. Um, of course, I have resales too, because you know some people just 
insist on not waiting um, eight months. But the good thing about these um, new homes is while you're waiting eight months, the developer is putting up that to house every month three, four thousand dollars. So usually when you wait long enough, maybe you pay 180, but by the time um, you go to close, the developer is charging 210 for them. So it's a good good opportunity. That's why people buy new homes. They also buy because um, you know it's just um, less maintenance. People buy duplexes and quads and more because they go for cash flow. And a lot of times when you have these new um, these ones, people get to the point where they want to make money. They need money. They're in, retired. They need to have um, duplexes and quads. So um, I have it all. And um, if you uh, just email me, my email is Jean Gillen at Yahoo, J E A N G I L L E N at yahoo.com. And uh, tell me that you've listened to this or just, you know, ask me whatever you need. And I'll put you on my mailing list. And I send stuff out almost every week. Yeah. So anyway, Jean, thank you so much. By the way, seg to segue into what Jean saying, we will have Jean come back next week to do another live webinar on the new builds. Very, very exciting opportunity. Uh, but um, uh, so you can be hearing from Jean quite a bit. Uh, you can hear her uh, just like you heard now her dynamic presentation you know she you know she her voice sounds like you know oh so exciting so you gotta do it now <laughs> yeah, you have to do it now. yeah you gotta be excited because Jean is always excited she loved her job Jean uh, uh, have a passion to do this and Jean you have helped so many investors not just my group but other investment group for many years uh, you have helped so many people become very very rich by buying Central Florida, great undervalued property, great cash flow, excellent uh, uh, occupancy rates, excellent property management. You know, you have it all. You cover everything. You know every single neighborhood, every block over Central Florida. And so, you know, what more can you ask? That, you know, what value can any network partner like Gene that you can provide? So I'm, I'm extremely happy to work with Gene for the past few years. Many of my buyers have purchased and they come back to buy second and third property because they see the value of, of, of this product in Central Florida and we will continue to market Florida extensively. So, so uh, okay, so uh, thank you for your time. I know you're very busy. You got a lot of closing to, to do. So uh, thank you so much. We will invite you back on a weekly basis. So. Uh, so thank you very much, Steve Wing. You're welcome. Have a nice day. This uh, this webinar is being pre-recorded, so I'll I'll put the webinar video out there for the rest of you. Thank you so much. Have a nice day. This is Steve Wing Yi. Have a blessed day. Goodbye. Thank Bye. you. Bye.